I don't think they'll get the world they expect to see. It's about female oppression in the Catholic Church. <laughs> We've done flagellation um, improvisations, which have been extremely enjoyable, and I'm sure we're all better for them. Got some very funny bits, some very moving bits. It's a ripping good yarn. This woman, who is phenomenally clever, writing the most beautiful, beautiful poetry, modern and sexy poetry, and yet her life was not one that, you know, that, that was in any way particularly social and not sexy. What is fascinating is the world of this particular convent. I went to a convent, and the nuns, my experience of the nuns, were, they were very austere, and... This convent is nothing like that because at that time they were very wealthy. People lived, didn't have little sort of Spartan cells with a single bed and a, you know, a blanket. They lived in apartments, they had servants. So it wasn't the world I was expecting when I was told it was a play that mean? took place in a convent. Don't worry, I'm not playing a nun. Because <laughs> nobody can imagine me ever playing a nun. My character is a slave who has been Sister Juana's slave since she was a child. So everybody had a slave. I mean, even black people had slaves. And the nuns weren't any different. Uh, but at the end of the play, she does write a freedom paper for me. So I, I, I am now freed, which is a good thing and a bad thing. Yes, it's great to be free. Uh, a, who's going to pay you to work? Because uh, if your labor wasn't worth paying for before, who's going to pay you now? How does a woman on her own exist but at the same time, every time I read that scene, I cry because it's such a, a great thing to have a, a freedom paper. And I can, it's, it's in the language in the Caribbean. I remember my mother saying to me, well, as a child, as it, as it got towards the end of the summer holidays, your free paper is burnt. End of freedom, you're back at school. It was just something my mum said. And I realised as I got older, your freedom paper is vital. But if you get caught wandering around by some white person and they burn your freedom paper, you're a slave again. He's always fun playing baddies. I don't necessarily look for the nice side of them or what redeems them, but I try and find out why they are like they are. In this case, it's a man who was very, very, very devout. He was a fundamentalist Catholic. His commitment to his religion comes from a conviction that what he's doing is absolutely right and he's doing it for the best of possible reasons to save the world from debauchery, uh, desolation and women. They embody everything that is weak, indulgent and uh, dangerously seductive about the world.